Okay, hi folks. Uh, this is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. We're doing a, installing a fan in a to an existing passive system in a home that's uh, just sold a real estate transaction. Uh, again, my name's Scott. Uh, I'm a mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, folks looking to get into mitigation. Um, and if you're a homeowner, uh, be sure and check out www.nrsb.org. National Radon Safety Board. That's uh, the powers that be that we answer to. Plug in your zip code, they'll put you in touch with a certified professional in your area. Um, just, I like sharing tips that make my life easier and maybe they'll help you folks out as well. Uh, you know, as you can see, we're in an attic and the last thing we want to do is step through uh, a bad, a weak spot and, um, you know, puncture a hole in the ceiling. But you also have to carry all your stuff. There's a box for the fan uh, to make all this happen. So uh, I'm a big fan of preparation and uh, get some ventilation. So that fan right there is making the difference between me being absolutely freaking miserable and comfortable. <laughs> um, take that extra minute or so, set that up, get your lights set up. If, if you're I'm lucky today I have electricity and a light here but one's never enough and of course I've got one on my head as well um, but right here this is my favorite thing an, an old kids snow sled and I'm able to get around anywhere I want in this attic uh, in between trusses because you can't walk in between trusses but this bad boy slides anywhere I want, doesn't sink, just like it's on snow. And um, if you folks have installed a couple of these and have been thinking to yourself, gee, how can I make life a little easier? I sincerely hope that helps. Uh, and these buckets right here um, sit right in between uh, uh, joist trusses, whatever you call them, uh, big help right there. Uh, anyway, hope that helps. I'm going to finish wiring this thing up and uh, move on to the next one. Take care.